but okay. Right now, this is loose, and in in the case of this model, I can see that this roof isn't going to shift because of the reverse A on the front. You know, it was made so that it would stay put. So, your call. You may stick with it like that, or another option, especially if you don't have a reverse gable and this roof tends to slide, is to simply do this. Take a piece of scrap. Put it against here, and it doesn't have to be level. It can just be a, any old piece of scrap. Trace, so you get the angle. And then when you cut this out, we're going to cheat a little bit. Now you got to watch this. We're going to cut one of them where we expect, and the other one we're actually going to cut in a little bit, like about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to make it slightly more steep than you would expect. Just a little bit. Now that may sound silly, but we've found over the years that if you make it the exact same slope as this, the roof ends up a little high and it rocks like this. So we had to make it slightly steeper. Well, anyway, Back to where we were. This has already been marked for the outer edges of the gables, okay? And it was also then marked for the thickness of the wall. So this triangle that I just cut would end up getting glued a little bit inside there, just like that. Slightest bit so that It'll fit in here relatively easily, and it won't slide much. So you just sort of pick that distance, and you'd glue it in there. And then, of course, you're going to have to glue another one on the other side so that this doesn't slide. Okay? Thank you.